where are you actually from and how did you actually get into what you're doing now? All right, so my name's Austin Gay. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, I got into this about my, I'd say sophomore year, 16th birthday. Got a camera for my birthday. Um, what camera did you get? Nikon D5600. How was that? How was that switch from Nikon to Sony though? I had to upgrade. Uh, Nikon wasn't doing it for me. I had a prime lens, a zoom lens, and quality just wasn't doing it for me. Shooting at 3.5, 5.6. <coughs> .5. But I, I, I used it for a good two years now. So, I mean, I took it to UCF with me. Dang. Made some good connection with that camera. And then two years in, I graduated. Got my graduation money, said I gotta upgrade it. So, so what I'll birthday put, was that though that you got that Nikon camera? My 16th birthday. 16. So you've been doing this since you were 16. Yeah. And then, so how hard was it then, I guess, learning with a prime lens, you know, recording the sports that you were doing with a prime, so, understanding that, you know, you gotta need yeah. different ranges and stuff. So when I got the camera, I didn't know anything. Uh, <laughs> I honestly didn't learn anything camera wise, probably until I got my Sony. So Nikon, I was really just using whatever settings were on the camera. Uh, I wasn't really doing much. I would just look at the uh, viewfinder and see what made the lighting look best. And whether it was like the lowest shutter speed possible or the highest ISO possible. But I, I, I look back at some videos with that camera and like the shutter speed, I could tell it was at like one over 30. So it's like all my videos blurry, like super motion blur. I learned my ways with the Sony. Sony, that's the way. Sony. So would you officially say that Sony is better than Nikon, at least for the stuff that we do? Yes. Okay. I would so, say, I know a lot of people get defensive about it, but I would say Sony, Canon, and Nikon. Sony, Canon. Okay. A lot of people make the argument for Canon, but I got a few friends that use Canon. And, all right, let me change my answer. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Canon, I would say is one for pictures. I would say Sony's one for video. But if you're having to like purchase a camera, and yeah, hybrid, both, yeah, yeah I'll hybrid. Go with Sony. Sony for sure. Sony's the best hybrid. In my that's my. That's I could totally agree with that. Honestly, um, so I know we worked together in the past, yep. and I know that you mainly focus on basketball. Where did that love of basketball come in, and how does that tie into your videography? Okay, so the love of basketball. So originally, I was a baseball player. But I gave up on baseball when I was probably 12 or 13. And ever since then, all my friends were playing basketball. My grandpa played basketball. So it was like, I just want to try something new. Um, played basketball since I was in fifth grade. Uh, just fell in love with it. And then junior year came around. I got hurt, actually. So I was out for the whole season. And I was like, all right, I don't want to sit on the bench, you know. Like, I'll support my teammates. but. Like, it's just boring in a way. So why not just bring my camera out to some <laughs> games and take pictures from my teammates or some video or whatever. Mm -hmm. And my coach was all for it. Uh, and he just let me do my thing, like knowing that I can't really do much on the basketball court. So he just let me pursue a uh, pursue a dream, really. So that really grew, grew into my page. I really, I started Visions by Austin in 2021 so right before my injury the years prior to that i was really just doing it like just to get my friends some stuff what was your injury so i got into a car accident oh, around november of 2020 uh was hospitalized for two weeks fractured my back uh two holes in my intestines and a torn oh, colon shoot. so out of the hospital back brace for four months and oh my surgery God. for my stomach but that put me out for i would say until march because i got cleared for right when aau started so i remember getting cleared went straight into aau basketball season was far over by then but you know i learned a lot still doing what i've been doing and yeah how did that experience actually change your perspective of just being like an athlete in general. So being an athlete, um, it really showed me that like, 
your life can really change in the matter of seconds. Um, and to be grateful for what you got. Uh, as an athlete, I would say, like, don't really give up because I still had a junior or senior year left. And I mean, I wanted to make the most of it. So, I mean, I got back in the gym, started training again. Uh, and then senior year comes around and we are the first team to win district championship. And I, I can't recall how many years, but I mean, that's probably like my biggest memory for senior year, especially coming back from an injury like that. Yeah, that's uh, crazy, dog. Like yeah. props to you, bro, for real. Like not even for the camera. Like, cause I, I had a uh, injury yeah. my senior year of high school it was my knees so the cartilage under my kneecaps were just breaking because of like overuse right so i had the decision to do rehab and come back or get surgery and then rehab again and come back so first i did rehab for like six to eight months yeah went back on the field immediately injured finding out that i had the wrong rehab because you can't like heal cartilage you know what i'm yeah. saying so had to get surgery the surgery was either do both of my knees or do one of my one knee rehab, the other knee rehab. Damn. I was like, screw that. It's like I'm 18. You know what yeah. I'm saying? At the verge of senior year, you gotta get prospect now. You gotta do visits and all that. Yeah. So it's like an absolute worst, worst time. time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't even know if I want to go back because now I got coaches calling me saying, oh, you could be a walk on. So yeah, I'm just that's, like, yeah. That's a that's a tough know. that's a tough decision. Man. So it was like. What, even, what year was this? I was 2018. What year in high school? I was a senior. senior. This is my last year, bro. It was the worst. It was basically the end of junior year, and so all of senior year I just rehab. Yeah. So how could I come back to training if the yeah. season's already Especially over? Especially with junior being like the most important year. Most important. So yeah. it was like it kind of just got screwed up, and I was like, ah. So props to you for even going back after appreciate that, it. bro. That's, appreciate it. That's insane. So how did like visions by Austin come into the picture? All right, so funny story. Uh, one night I was playing um, NBA 2K, I want to say 21, with my, with my friend Griffin. And so over in St. Pete, uh, the guy who really like mentored me through this, Uncle Drew Productions, he really oh, built shoot. up. He really built up his page. He was doing it for years. He had the city, the city of St. Pete in a chokehold. I mean, he was the one that really laid the platform for a lot of the media people over in St. Pete. So he was a great mentor for me to have. Um, and I looked up to him a lot. So I was like, you know, I got a camera now. And I was just talking to Griffin. I was like, like, this would be a good way to like make some connections, get my name out there a little bit. So I, I remember I made the page. Um, it was like September 20 something, 2021 right before a prep hoops camp the next day. And it was just like the most random idea ever. So I never really <laughs> like, I want to say I had a passion for it. Uh, like, but um, I really just started it just for fun. And it turned into something bigger than that. Yeah. It turned into a passion. Um, but I really just started it for fun. I mean, Uncle Drew is really my inspiration. Uh, I, he really laid the platform for me, and I would say that's that's pretty much the main reason. Okay. I'm talking about. Yeah. So I know you play basketball. Growing up, watching overtime, ball is life. What's hoop diamonds? There's a couple other ones, but watching certain players grow up, especially where I'm from, um, Damatha, Riverdale freaking mcdonough like all these different places or even cole anthony oak hill like montford you know img yeah. and being able to travel and go to different schools and see these people play that i've been watching for years yeah. it's a crazy feeling for visits by austin and for you personally what would you want to see you know two three years down the line so two three years down the line um i definitely want to have a foundation laid out uh my dream is to obviously work with in the basketball like football realm but like for be all end all I want to be locked in with like an NBA team NFL team and if I ever got the opportunity I would honestly probably want to be somebody's like personal cameraman I know that a lot of athletes these days are super like media like centralized so I would want to be like their guy yeah. like build their vision um, 
Yeah, but I also be able to market their their whole like media based off my work. I know a lot of the like a lot of the athletes that are like media rounded, like Shay, Scotty Barnes, like they all have their guy, and they're all providing them with that sort of um, content to where they can go their own page and pretty much market themselves. If you know, if you need a dude, need a guy, reach out. VBA, Business by Austin. Thank you for this. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. That's another piece.